Hey guys, so here we have the latest version of iOS 7 Beta 1. Now we're going to take a quick look at this and what these features have on this phone today. So the first thing you notice when you go to the lock screen, I'm not too sure how well the camera is going to pick it up, but we'll try our best. As you can see, the background sort of moves, giving it sort of like a 3D effect. Now the camera's not going to pick it up perfectly, but it is there and it definitely it does work on both the home screen and the lock screen. Now going into some of the apps, we'll have a look at the pull up control center first. So to activate this simply you swipe up from the bottom. And here we have a whole heap of features. We've got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb and the lock to Stop it from rotating. You've also got your brightness, play forward and backward for iTunes, airdrop, and you have four application shortcuts here. Now, I'm not too sure if these are going to be changeable, but at the moment you can't change them. At the moment, they're just a light, um, alarm by the look of it, a calculator, and a photo for the camera app. Now, with saying that, um, all the apps, basically the whole thing's been redesigned. It kind of looks like the first iOS with that little bottom bar at the bottom. Now every single app you open has a new animation, just like when you swipe to unlock, I'll show you now. See, they can't sort of zoom out. Now this iOS is only in new release, so I'm not too sure how it's going to be some. Now this iOS is only new, so I'm not too sure how it's going to be in the future. But the first beta has definitely ruined my battery for sure. At the moment I charged it last night and within two hours it was down to 60% so hopefully they fix it up in the near future. Now the design is sort of like a flat design, sort of like a people are saying it's sort of like a Windows phone design which I can't really say because I've never seen a Windows, I've only used a Windows phone once and didn't really play with it that much. Now if you did have a Mac with running Mountain Lion you would know that there is AirDrop. Now AirDrop allows you to send files from Mac to Mac. What this does is going to allow you to send files from iPhone to iPhone. Kind of like Bluetooth I guess, maybe it's Apple's rip off of they didn't have Bluetooth on for file transfer so they've thought hey we'll bring in um, the AirDrop. Now a lot more things have come in, we'll have a look at the notification center. So here we have a calendar, um, definitely a lot better than the other notification center. As you see, I have a um, Facebook event to help a friend with a competition. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to help them out, there'll be a link down below where you can vote for them. I'll tell you how to do that. So yeah, so you have today, we have all notifications from Instagram, Spotify, all that sort of stuff, and we have a missed call one. Application, now it actually dates your photos with dates, like it tells you where they were taken exactly, and yeah. So next thing we'll have a look at is the keyboard. Now the keyboard has changed in this dramatically. Um, as you see now, it's kind of like a white keyboard. Before it was like a black and grey sort of look. But yeah. So now we'll have a look at the settings. Now the settings have changed a little bit. Now we have, it will go into, we'll just go to general. Now we have a little back arrow that's changed and now you can swipe back to go back to the previous menu. Now we'll have a look at Safari also. Now Safari has definitely changed a lot. You now have tabs, which I don't have any more open, but we'll just open a few. And you can now see that there is three tabs open. Now this is definitely a plus for Apple because a lot of people did go to download Google Chrome for their iPhone and iPad because of that reason. Now the Clocks app has changed a little bit as you can see you got the Sydney today and you click on it and it goes digital clock we have the alar alarms different stopwatch has changed and the time has also changed and pretty much every app has changed but we're not going to go all into them today if you guys want to see anything else just let me know in the comments below and I will put it in another video now we'll have a look at one last thing, we'll have a look at the camera. Here we see the camera's changed a lot. 
you can now swipe to go to video and you can do square kind of thing and panorama video or picture I should say but yeah, anyway guys um, that's been my video on iOS 7 if you want to see any more videos on iOS 7 leave your comments in the description box below what you want me to see what you want me to do but anyway guys now this video is over I want you guys to drop a comment in the comment section below and tell me what your favorite thing on iOS 7 is and what you hate about iOS 7 and what you would like to see in the next iOS so anyway guys my name is Kane I'd like to thank you for watching if you're new to my videos I do tech related videos every week starting very soon so be sure to smack that subscribe button so anyway guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one don't forget to smack that like button see you in the next one bye